welcome back. We're here with Brad Stradlin, one of my early influences at longboarding. Brad, you know I didn't just wake up one day and go down and cut a tree. You know you were there in the early days and influenced me a lot with my longboarding. What got you started? Well, I would say that I wanted to uh, skate as much like I surfed as possible. In other words, my early influences were from surfing, not so much from skating, and riding a longboard is a lot more like surfing. In skating now, who were some of your early influences? Well, Tom Sims influenced me a lot like, like Jerry Lopez did. He was very stylish and smooth and very concerned about that. I liked uh, Jay Adams, I compared to Dane. He was very aggressive. He wouldn't just go do a grinding. He, he'd knock the coping block off. Uh, Dane was much like that, too. And Tom, in a way, influenced me like Larry Bergman did. Uh, a lot of thought into lines and where he was going in the pool, carving, a lot of thought, so forth. Thought that right. Exactly. Right, let's, let's take a walk over to your quiver here. All right. Why don't you explain your boards to us? Well, I got two pool boards. Uh, these two are both them. They're lighter and a little bit more maneuverable than my other boards. I've got my downhill board and I've got my high jump board here. And when you're riding long boards, you need a quiver because there's more limitations because of the extra length in the board. So you have to be dialed in. Explain a little bit on the, like the high jump board, for instance. What's different between the high jump board and one of your pool boards? So the high, high jump board would be a little bit thicker and uh, able to take the abuse that it takes from jumping up and down Four on it. Plies, like an eight to ten plies right. and a seven? Right, thicker and uh, tougher wood. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Pool boards. Pool boards are lighter, more maneuverable, faster wheels, and uh, more finely tuned. Let's talk about wheels now. I know you've been into wheels and bearings for years. You were one of the first cats ever to have like the fastest bearings. You, you have a pair of bearings that are eight years old in a set of wheels, don't you? Right, yeah. I've, I've got uh, these bearings. Are, the old TRWs are eight years old, and they are still faster than anything anybody's using these days. Of course, in the gy old gyro wheels with the hubs. Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be new to be good. Tell us a bit now about the style part of it, um, the length. You're, you're constantly on what, what size board? Well, I ride, the, the smallest board I ride is a 44. The largest is about a 48. I used the 48s in the downhill and stuff. I didn't bring any of those with me. Uh, and uh, like I said, the shorter boards are for the more maneuverable stuff. Now the style part of it. Well, uh, basically, when you're riding a longer board, it's just like riding a longer surfboard. You know, you don't do as many maneuvers. You're looking more at where you're placing yourself and more about how you, how you look when you're skating. You know, you're not, not trying to impress anybody with maneuvers. We're just trying to go out there and have fun. Like I said, I surfed before I skateboarded, so that's what I wanted to uh, bring in the skateboard. A lot of kids started off the other way, skated, then got into surfing. Right, and that's why we're seeing so many more radical maneuvers in surfing now. Uh, you know, Larry Berlman approached this many years ago while wanting to refine his surfing techniques and get more rad and do more maneuvers in surfing. And that's when the 360 came out in uh, surfing, right, with the rabbit by the and stuff? Right, he was very interested in doing aerials, and uh, he saw skaters doing them consistently and, and wanted to study that and uh, apply it to surfing, which he did very well and uh, like I said we got a lot from Larry too and now you got surfers like uh, Christian Fletcher who are actually doing indie airs backside airs on waves right and I, and I believe that that's something that skateboarding gave back to surfing and with that I'd like to say thank you for coming Brad thanks for having me it's and a thanks pleasure for to be here. Me. Great. take care